I think it's fair to say our start to the Premier League life has been absolutely amazing. So let's quickly flick through the fixtures since the last time we met. The first of which was a 3-2 away win against Brentford. Jamie Coyle with a brace, Fukushima with one. And what was a bit of a smash and grab. Uh, Brentford were a good side and they definitely pushed us to the limit. But we got away with it. Next up was a 3-0 home win against Aston Villa. Jamie Coyle again with a brace. And Karimi, our defensive midfielder, with the other goal in a fantastic performance. We then had to go to penalties against Coventry in the League Cup second round. And the penalties lasted a while. I believe we won 10-9. <laughs> we then went away from home against West Ham. And again, bit of a fortunate result. This one 3-1. Jamie Coyle again. Shane Pearce and Karimi in the 90th minute. A game where we could have easily got beat. But we didn't. Next up was another win. 2-1 at home against Wolves. They got a 94th minute penalty. But the game was already done by that point. Jamie Coyle with a 48th minute penalty. And Marco Antonio in the 62nd minute. We then completely FM'd Arsenal and almost stole three points. <laughs> Karimi got the opening goal in the 61st minute and looking at their match stats, you're thinking, what, how? Our goalkeeper who we signed from Arsenal in the summer had the game of his life. And if it wasn't for a 93rd minute own goal from Lee Pierce, we would have got three points. We then went away from home against Brentford, this time in the League Cup third round and got a 2-1 away win, which is a really, really good result considering we heavily rotated our side and we were against Premier League opposition. Abdullah Garba and Alez Dabanovic with the goals. And finally was a 3-1 home win against Southampton. Jimmy Coyle with one, Fukushima with two. Ian Chapman, our former man, getting a goal in the 84th minute to make it a little bit edgy uh, towards the last uh, few minutes, but Fukushima's 91st minute goal sealed things. And that sees the Premier League table looking like this. We sit top of the league. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the league is a newly promoted side. Now we're only seven games in, so we can't get too excited by that, but we're doing absolutely phenomenally. Jamie Coyle, our striker, has been performing beyond expectations. Fukushima, similar. Nakamoto, four assists. Everything is coming up Millhouse, and I'm I'm just waiting for it all to fall apart, and it could happen today. So in today's episode, we are going to go away from home against Huddersfield and Birmingham City. We will, of course, then just review the Leicester home fixture, which is in between. But two former clubs, both away from home. I mean, obviously we won six points. I think we'll be fortunate to get three. Realistically, we might get two. But let's just wait and see. We do have a couple of injury concerns to our starting 11 today. Magyar, our goalkeeper, is injured. But he is going to start. He's bruised knee. Out for another two days. I'm hoping it's nothing too serious. And he will see it through this match. No bother. Armando Howard is suspended. So Yannick Millot comes in at right back. Other than that we are full strength. So let's get into the game today against Huddersfield. Now I believe they are doing pretty well in the league. They are currently sitting in 6th. Uh, so in the European spots. I think out of our former clubs. They have been the one who has been most consistently performing. And a lot of our former boys are still at Huddersfield. Adam Eero, goalkeeper, still there. Keith Lonsdale, who they signed from Birmingham City. Uh, Icaro, still there. Fabio Luis. O'Neill, who we had in Nottingham Forest, of course. Mayard. So, uh, still a very good side. I want to just have a look at Damien. He hasn't improved as much as I thought he would have. Um, but he's still been a very, very good servant for Huddersfield. So, let's get into the game. Not expecting too much from this. Maybe hoping for a point. And a weird point against Huddersfield will be fantastic. Uh, I just uh, sort of missed. It was the opening highlight. I didn't think it was going anywhere. And um, Eddie Nkete has just scored. He's a goal in the first minute. Um, it's his fifth goal of the season. And we go 1-0 down against Huddersfield. Not the greatest of starts. Let's be frank. 15 minutes in. We have our second highlight. It's... Us on the attack? It certainly is. Jimmy Coyle brings it down and plays in Yamel Genov, who finds Nakamoto. He's driven through. Kataro Nakamoto. £25 million pound well spent. I knew it was a good signing. I knew it. Some great play by Coyle holding the ball up. Yamel Genov does excellent work driving down the left-hand side. The space widens for Nakamoto, and that is a great finish to level things up. Corner for us. Marco Antonio is the man to take it. He aims at a Fukushima and Huddersfield clear and are probably going to break. Damien brings it down the right hand side, whips the ball into Fabio Luis. Oh man, why did I sign him for Huddersfield? You wouldn't be doing this to me if I didn't. He's sixth goal of the season and Huddersfield take the lead back 30, 
three minutes in. It all comes from our, our corner once again. I'm going to have to maybe look at our defensive corner tactic as it has cost us a couple of goals this season. And Magyar gets close to it, but not quite enough. Another highlight now, 35 minutes in. It's a long ball over the top. And Jamie Coyle's in behind. And Jamie Coyle equalises pretty much instantly. His ninth goal of the season brings us level at 2-2. Two, two. It was Yannick Millot from right back who played the ball over the top. And the Huddersfield defence must be pushed up really, really high. And Jamie Coyle is able to beat the offside trap. Come on, boys. Just don't concede again. Free kick. I like free kicks. Mark Antonio steps over it. I mean, I don't like them free kicks. The free kick was that bad. It wasn't the highlight. So something else is happening in this. Eddie Enkatea keeps the ball in miraculously. We play the ball down the right-hand side. Jamie Coyle gets on it and tries to get past his man. He does eventually. Whips it in. It's cleared by Batella, but we keep possession. Karimi to Millot on this right-hand side. Whips it in. Down for Nakamoto. Yes, Yemeljanov and Nakamoto combine once again and put us in front for the first time in this match. His third goal of the season. Another assist for Yemeljanov. And you can't ask for more than that, can you? Millot whipping the ball in. Yemeljanov heading it down. Nakamoto's first-time strike. And I'm really liking his work in central midfield. And there we have it, half time. Huddersfield 2, Nottingham Forest 3, an end to end, end, to end game. And uh, let's kick off the second half and see if it continues. And it's probably going to, because there's a highlight straight from kickoff. Huddersfield worked the ball well at O'Neill on this right hand side. Don't haunt us. Oh, Pintner. Please hear that was outside the box. Oh, it was outside the box. It's just a free kick. Relax. It was just a free kick. 48 minutes gone. We have an attack coming down at the right hand side. Milot. It's dispossessed, but Pierce keeps the ball alive. Back to Karimi. We work it to Marco Antonio on the edge of the box. Can't get past his man. He's uh, dilly-dallying on it. Jimmy Coyle can't get his strike away. Pinter gets down the left-hand side and shoots. Great save by Adam here. I mean, whoever signed him is an absolute genius. Another highlight now. Huddersfield working the ball pretty well in the midfield. Akaro's driven forward. Plays the Enkatea on this left-hand side, and we take him down in the box. It is definitely a penalty this time. Yannick Milot, it will back up right back, causing us some problems there. And who's stepping up? It's O'Neill. Former man O'Neill. Ah, he scores. Uh, Huddersfield 3, Nottingham Forest 3. Oh, come on, game. It's just highlight after highlight, and it's fine when it's mine. <laughs> Fabio Luis finds Enkati, who plays it through for Mead. And Damien, he's crushing me hopes and dreams. It's only his second goal of the season. And now Huddersfield take the lead once again. 4-3. It was a little bit poor defensively from Milot again. Um, but uh, it's a decent finish. Goalkeeper should probably do better with that. And with half an hour remaining, we've got it all to do again. So Marco Antonio has had a pretty quiet game on that right-hand side. We will bring on a Florian as an inverted winger on that right-hand side. What else are we going to do? We're not going to do anything else, I don't think. I'm relatively content with... Uh, our attack, anyway. Our defence does need some work, but we don't really have the options off the bench, unfortunately. Time is just ticking away. We've already gone very attacking. We have pushed the tempo and our passing directness. And we do have a couple of issues in terms of player fitness. We'll take off Lucas Pinter for Adam Lewis at left back. Um, but time is ticking away. Any highlight? You couldn't stop giving us highlights earlier on game. But now it is coming to an end. Huddersfield Town 4, Nottingham Forest 3. It was a good performance by us, I'll not lie, um, but the defensively we were just a little bit lacking, a little bit naive, and uh, it's give us food for thought for January, I would say. But we've got Leicester coming up, but of course we're not live coming that, it will be Birmingham City, so I will see you there. So central midfield will now be a concern, Max Rodriguez, our backup central midfielder, who has got plenty of game time this season so far, is going to be out for five to six months with a broken upper leg. Uh, does cause concern, of course. We will look to address that in January. So we're just concluding the Leicester game. Look, well, we're winning 4-0. Sergei Yemeljanov with the first. Marcos, Marco Antonio from right wing with a hat-trick. Absolutely fantastic result. Leicester were sitting bottom of the table, so it was expected that we were going to get a win from this. But a very handy win to bounce back from that Huddersfield defeat. So now we have the game away from home against Birmingham. We have pretty much, actually exactly, the strongest first 11 we can possibly put out. In terms of Birmingham side, 
I don't recognise any of these names. Marcus Leonardo, of course, is one of the unbelievable players they assigned themselves. Heffernan Holland was, of course, from Huddersfield. Fabio Roberto is someone we uh, looked at ourselves but couldn't sign at the time. Uh, but Birmingham City is a well and truly changed side from whence we managed them. Let's get into today's game then. Hoping for a draw in this one. Uh, they are currently sitting in ninth position and obviously, with us being away from home, we've just got to dampen our expectations just a little bit. It's been a thrilling first half for the first 30 minutes. You don't know what you've missed. Thankfully, we have our first highlight of the game. But unfortunately for us, it's gone Birmingham City's way as Leonardo's in behind. Good save by Magia. He keeps it in as well, so it goes out for a throw-in rather than a corner. Um, but yeah, something is definitely not right with us. Birmingham City are definitely on the front foot. 36 minutes gone now. We have ourselves another highlight. We are in possession. Uh, let's see if we can keep it. Yemeljanov wins the ball on the left-hand side, tries to set away Jamie Coyle. It's cleared, but he quick gets it again. He does set him through this time. And Jamie Coyle hits the post. It was a good save by the keeper in the end. We should probably be 1-0 up after that. Free kick for Birmingham just before half-time. Magyar comes and claims it. A commanding goalkeeper in the six-yard box. And uh, set away break, please. Nope, he just gives it to Fabio Roberto. That's absolutely fantastic. Heaven and Holland on the left-hand side. Whips the ball in. And uh, Dejan Kulazewski puts uh, Birmingham City 1-0 up 30 seconds before half-time. Not ideal. So there we have it, half-time. We are keeping the majority of the possession, but Birmingham City are definitely creating more of the opportunities. We are going to get aggressive with the boys. I expect to see a much better second half. Uh, let's see how it goes. Another free kick for Birmingham. We do manage to get a clear this time, and hopefully we can break. Jamie Coyle picks it up. Goes... Goes the long way around, let's just say, coming down the right-hand side. But he does get there, gets dispossessed though. We win the ball back through Nakamoto Karimi. Plays the ball through to Jamie Coyle, it's cleared. And it's going to be a Birmingham City counter-attack. Marcus Leonardo gets past his man and he buries it. Absolutely fantastic finish for his second goal of the season. And it comes from us losing the ball. Uh, really, really disappointing. I don't feel it would deserve to be 2-0 down in this game. But individual brilliance from Marcus Leonardo makes it so. Free kick for us. Nakamoto is the man to play it in. Comes to David Ballas at the back post and he can't get his header on target. And time is just ticking away in this game. We have not played well, even slightly. And our substitutes aren't that great. We're going to bring on Abdullah Garbett to replace Shane Pierce in attack and midfield. Uh, we're going to bring on Lee Pierce as well to replace uh, Sergei Yemeljanov on the left-hand side and see if them two boys coming off the bench can perform miracles. There is a highlight though, uh, Marco Antonio on the right hand side picks it up from Fukushima, Howard whips it in, it's cleared by Birmingham City and is it going to be another counter attack? It certainly is, Marcus Leonardo on the left hand side cuts in, goes for goal, Maggio with a comfortable save but uh, it's been the story of today's game, 77 minutes gone, Birmingham City currently in possession, Marcus Leonardo gives it away, thank God for that, hopefully it's our turn to counter, it's not our turn to counter. Sam Brown brings it through the centre. Whips the ball in. Rasmussen's there. Back post. <sighs> we just give the ball away all the time. I don't understand. I don't understand what the boys are doing today. But it ha isn't been a good day at the office. Christian and Rasmussen's third goal of the season. Brown doing pretty well. I will whip the ball in. Uh, Pinter not doing the best. Martin his man. And looking at the stats. You can't say Birmingham City don't thoroughly deserve the win. Should it happen, um, which it, it is. There's seven minutes remaining. We lose the ball again in an attacking position. And Rasmussen drop, uh, goes down into the box. Good save by Magia. But yeah, they've just counted us at every single opportunity. And they've been highly effective at it. And time is ticking away. We have three minutes remaining in this match. Hopefully, just get a goal back. Just a little bit of a consolation. Give us that feel-good feeling of getting a goal. Try and keep the ball for more than two minutes. And uh, let's see how it goes. Ball's played over the top. Jamie Coyle gets on the end of it. And he, he's lost his goal scoring touch today. He's not getting the goal. We do have another highlight just before full time. Come on, Harwood, whip it in. Don't let them clear it. Fukushima whips the ball to Pinter on this left-hand side. He gets dispossessed by Jose Luis, but he does retain possession. It's gone for a throw-in. Is this actually a highlight? Or are you just having me on because it's the end of the game? Pinter. Plays it in to Pierce. Whip it in. It, uh, it, where's the full time? There it's there. <laughs> Birmingham City 3. Nottingham Forest 0. Not a good day at the office for us. A thoroughly deserved defeat. 
and uh, zero points out of six in the two live comps today. Uh, not ideal. So our former clubs get one over us, but we do still sit second place in the Premier League. Look at that, we could quite easily drop to eighth position in the next game if we are to be defeated. But it's still a fantastic start of the season. 10 games in, 22 points. Absolutely unbelievable stuff. In terms of the next episode though, it's going to be pretty close to the January transfer window. Probably this Spurs and Liverpool game. We might end up bringing you an earlier game if we start to really drop form and we need a win. Um, so we'll wait and see on the edge of that, but probably Spurs and Liverpool. But anyway, boys, if you have enjoyed today's video, leave a like on the video, comment, do something, subscribe, champion. Until next time, take it easy.